everyone. So here I'm using my Aveeno Daily SPF for my face. This is SPF 50. Uh, I use this in a lot of videos, as you know, because I'm really big on making sure that my skin isn't exposed to too much sun and that the pores don't get any larger from UV rays. I'm gonna let that dry a bit, take a little sip of my iced tea. I absolutely love iced tea. I'm gonna prime my face with Benefit Professional. This is the sample size that I got and I've been really loving it. It's one of the best primers that I've used. So I'll keep using it by the full size product pretty soon. And I'm gonna use that all over my face, on my eyes even a little bit. Next I'm going with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair. I'm gonna use this to cover up any blemishes that I may have, as well as blend that out over those. And then I'm gonna go in and use it in all of my other problem areas such as dark circles, redness around my nose and down the bridge of my nose and places to highlight. Now here's the Lorac Porefection, Pore sorry. It's a new foundation that I've been using. Mine is in the shade PR4. I'm going to blend that in with my Beauty Blender, which is my favorite way to apply my foundation. Now the Lorac Porefection foundation has been my holy grail foundation ever since I found it. Um, I really like the way it blends out. It has a perfect color match on me. I highly recommend going into a store like Ulta or Sephora to make sure that you are getting the absolute perfect color if you're going to be spending money on a high-end foundation. Next, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Again, this is going to go under my eyes to cover up any dark circles. And I'm going to be blending this out again with my Beauty Blender. Sorry for the lighting change. My room was going absolutely crazy because it was raining that day. So the clouds were in and out of covering up my lighting. And so it's gonna get a little bit wonky here and there and I'm so sorry. Next I'm gonna use it down the bridge of my nose as well as around the redness on my nose. Also over the corners of my mouth to highlight. And I'm gonna blend that out once again with my Beauty Blender. It's really like the best all-purpose tool to use for your foundation. I use it for absolutely everything. So I would recommend investing in one of these. You can get really, really good deals at different kinds of websites that make the Beauty Blender totally worth it. Another sip of iced tea. Surprise, surprise. Next, I'm going with my Sephora Sol de Rio Bronzer. I'm gonna be using this with a Real Techniques contour brush. So I'm gonna be putting this in the hollows of my cheeks to contour my face, make it look a little bit slimmer. I'm going to be using this also once I'm done with my cheeks on my temples and then cross my forehead. This really helps to make my face look a little bit nicer, more alive. I'm going to use this smaller end of this Bare Minerals Dual End Brush to actually contour out my nose to make it look a little bit smaller. I do feel that I have a larger nose for my face shape, it's not actually a big deal to me, but I do like to contour it a bit just to give my face a little bit more definition. So I'll use this on the tip of my nose as well as down the sides just to make it look a little bit thinner. Now I'm going in with my Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil, This I'm, or I'm sorry, this is my Bare Minerals uh, blush. This one is in the color True and I'm going to be using this with my Beauty Blender again because it really gives a nice natural flush. So I'm going to use this down my cheeks, um, focusing higher up on the cheekbone and then a little bit on the apple. And I like the Beauty Blender because like I said, it kind of waters it down and makes it look very, very natural. Next, I'm using my Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil to set all of my face makeup. So I'll be using this especially under my eyes, over my cheeks, over everything that gets oily. So down my nose, all of that. And then this is the Bare Minerals Ready Luminizer in the Daydream. This is a limited edition piece that I got in a set. And I'm gonna be using this to highlight my face right above my cheekbones and then also down the bridge of my nose and over my cupid's bow. And here I'm just using a Real Techniques brush that I got in a travel set that I absolutely love. I'm gonna go over my lips real quick with a clean white washcloth just to get anything off them. And I'm gonna prime my eyes with Bare Minerals Prime Time since I will be wearing this eyeshadow for a while tonight. 
this is a look for a graduation party that I was going to that night. It was a special senior party, so I was going for a little bit more of a dramatic look than I would typically go to. So this is my Maybelline color tattoo in Barely Branded. Um, this I'm going to be using all over my eyelid as well as up under my brow bone just a little bit to even out my skin tone there. It also gives a nice base. Since I'll be doing a winged liner, I definitely wanted to make sure that I didn't have too much eyeshadow on because I don't like to distract from my winged eyeliner too much with dark eyeshadows. All right, I'm using a clean mascara wand here to comb up my eyebrows. I typically don't do too much with them except for comb them up and fill them in if necessary because I am going them out. And now with my Naked 2 palette, I'm going in with a flat shader brush into the color Tease. And this is a matte kind of taupey color that I'm going to be placing on my crease just to define that area a little bit more so that my eyes look a little bit more defined. Now I'm going to go back into the palette, the Naked 2, with the color Foxy and use this to highlight under my brow bone as well as in the inner corners of my eyes. And this is the lightest color in the palette and it's a very good matte highlighter shade. Apparently I was talking to Nate here, laughing about whatever he said since he was sitting there watching me. And now I'm going to be going in with some scotch tape and using this to really shape out my winged liner. So I put it on the back of my hand first to take out some of the stickiness from it. And then I'm going to be placing this on my eye to really shape out the winged liner that I'm trying to do. Now the winged liner process can be pretty long. So once I get the tape on, I'm just going to kind of speed ahead since I'm pretty sure people can figure it out. It's not too difficult for my winged liner. I just kind of trace the line and hope that it comes out what I, how I want it to. Now I'm going into my tight line and using the Maybelline Master Studio uh, eyeliner in black to tight line. I'm just making sure that I don't have any type of like bright part of my eye showing through at this since I'm trying to do a very dramatic cat eye eyeliner. I am going to go back in however with a little bit of an eye makeup remover and remove some spots. Um, and then I'm going to be using a little bit of eyeshadow again to make sure that my line is perfectly straight for my winged eyeliner. another sip of iced tea. I should have a counter for this. Now this is my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner in Nude. I'm using this to go over my waterline since I do have um, a little bit smaller of eyes. This really helps brighten them up and make them pop. So I'll be using this on both eyes. And then I'm going to go back into the Naked Two palette and I'm going to use the darkest matte black shade in the palette as an eyeliner and that shade is called Blackout. And I'm just going to be running that with a small eyeshadow brush from Urban Decay that came with the electric palette underneath to really get a smudged out kind of look that's not too dark so it doesn't pull away from that cat eye. And unfortunately I was not thinking and just kind of put my naked palette right in front so it was difficult to see. I'm going to go back in with my beauty blender that has leftover concealer on it just to make sure that all of the areas are fully concealed and there's no extra black smudges anywhere. Here I'm looking for every kind of thing apparently in my life. I'm going to do a little bit more concealer from that Maybelline Fit Me underneath once again just to make sure that everything is fully covered. Next I'll be curling my eyelashes with my Revlon eyelash curler. Once again, pump a few times at the base and then move out to the tips, give my eyelashes a nice curled effect. Then I'm going to go in with my Clinique Eyelash Primer. This really helps the eyelashes stand out and makes them extremely long. Um, this is my favorite eyelash primer that I've ever used. I'm going to go in on both sides of my eyes with this. And then after this, I'm going to be using my Clinique High Impact Mascara in black. And that is what you will see next, simply because I didn't need to show all of my mascara routine on here. Here I am dressed. I'm going to be going in and using the Maybelline Color Whispers on my lips in the nude shade. 
Um, and then you can kind of see Nate chilling out in the background since he was waiting on me anyways. And this is the Buxom Lip Cream in White Russian, my absolute favorite lip gloss. It's pretty matte, not too shiny, not too sticky, and it works for everything. Here my hair is done, my outfit's ready, and I am ready to go to my graduation party.